Welcome to Ulterior Moto, your home for writer's reviews and how-to's. Today's how-to is clutch cable. We're going to replace this one. This is the stock clutch cable on my 2003 SV650. All the SV650s are going to basically be the same. Um, they've been in production for, what, like 24 years now and <laughs> with the same basic engine architecture. So not a lot has changed here, which is really actually kind of cool for these videos. So the reason I'm doing this change right now is I have a different uh, clip-on. I've gone aftermarket with that, and you can see my video on that as well. Uh, that has necessitated this because now my geometry up around the headstock is different. Uh, I attempted to make the old one work and it was really close, but uh, yeah, I ended up needing to replace the cable altogether. Fortunately, you can get a specific Motion Pro for replacement cable that mounts in a different way. So this is the 04-0270. So search that Motion Pro, you'll be able to get this. I got mine from Zorin at TWF. Uh, if you know SVs, you know Zorin. Uh, so you may be able to find it cheaper elsewhere. I'm pretty certain you can, uh, but I like to support the people that support our hobby. So that's why I go with this. So I knew with a high degree of confidence, I was gonna get the right cable because I was talking to the right guy. So that said, let's dive in. When you disassemble the clutch cable, you can really start at either end. I'll start at the lever end. Uh, so what you wanna do here is back off this jam nut. Take that as far as you can to the end of the adjustment screw. And then start twisting that adjustment screw into the uh, perch. And you wanna get as far as you can there. And then back it out until the grooves are all lined up. So there's a groove in the lever, the perch, the jam nut, and uh, the adjustment screw. From there, you'll be able to just pull the clutch cable out, slide the cable through that notch, and then pull it out the bottom of your clutch lever. Really the most difficult thing about this whole project is getting the clutch cable out of this mechanism. So it's got a bit of a barrel on the end of it, if you can see that. And then you probably see this window through here. There's a tab bent through that window that prevents the barrel from escaping downwards. So what we need to do is we need to bend that tab back away from the barrel so we can get to it. Now it's not the easiest thing in the world to get to because it is back there a bit and it's difficult to see. So just keep at it so you can get some purchase on that. And just like that. <laughs> I didn't have to curse, but I was ready to. Uh, we've liberated the end of our clutch cable. So now we can address the nuts above it and remove it. It's just a 12 millimeter wrench here at the bottom. Loosen that up. Shove that up and then slide the cable out that slot. So, hot tip to make the whole thing easier um, when you're going to remove the old one is I just cut the cable at the front end. You could do it at either end if you wanted to. And just pulled the cable out. That way I didn't have to drag this assembly all the way through. So that made it a little easier. 
It's not the easiest thing to see in the world, but uh, there is a clip here. It's basically just a bent wire with uh, rubber around it. And that holds a lot of the wiring on the left side. And that's where your clutch cable runs through. So you could just pull it out the front and it'll slide through there. But when you reroute it, if you're doing the stock rerouting, uh, or doing the stock routing, I should say, uh, then you'll need to go through that. So what I did here was I just basically put the clutch cable in place, starting from this side, because on the replacement cable, this, uh, the metal part of it is here, so it was easier to thread the flexible part through. Um, so I just put it in place first, and I had routed it. Uh, there's a couple options. So you can either go below, as I've done here, or above the, uh, the coolant lines that go between the heads. So I, I went over initially, and then I felt like uh, that put it up too high on the frame, and it started just kind of getting pinched between some other components over there. So I pushed it all the way back through, rerouted it underneath the cooling lines, as you can see there. Let's take a look at it from the other side. I can move it a little bit so you can see that's the line I'm talking about. So that comes up and under. You can see it through that little window there. Up to the headstock on the right side now. And through there. So I tried it initially uh, attaching the lever end first and then what I found was that I didn't have enough room down at the engine side and I figured you know maybe part of that was because this little end piece is longer um, and that makes it sometimes a little harder to get through that slot um, so I changed it up started this end got that tab they're bent up underneath it. It's a little difficult to see, but you can see it there. Uh, and that, the end of it is actually a little shorter, so you gotta bend that tab further than you did uh, on the previous one. Uh, then I backed this as, as far as I could get it to give me as much room at the other end as possible. So you can see this is like at the ends of its adjustment. And then, you know, predictably, Right, I ended up with just a few millimeters short on this side. So it took me a minute to figure out what I was gonna do about that. Uh, so I just disconnected the uh, lever from the perch and that helped quite a bit. And I'll show you how that worked out. I do wanna point out before I put this all back together that I did lubricate the clutch cable in advance. Uh, now's the best time to do it. It's never gonna be easier time. So. What I did here is by taking this off, you can get yourself a little more room. Let's line our things up here. Slide that through. And now we can simply just drop the bolt in there. And now we got everything all put back together. Put the nut on here. And then we can make our cable adjustments. There is a nylock style nut on there uh, to keep it from backing out. You don't want to get this too tight, otherwise you're just gonna create a excess drag for yourself. So as long as that is free, uh, which it is here, uh, we're good there. You want to make it you know, tight, but just not to the point where it's pinching the perch on top of the, the lever. So at this point, you can see we've got probably eight millimeters or so. So we just back out our adjustment screw until we have about two millimeters. I like to get as little play in there as possible, but you do want some. That's probably two millimeters. 
tighten the jam nut, and then we're good to go. We have a functioning clutch. Thanks for watching the clutch cable installation video. If you have any thoughts or questions, leave them below in the comments and I'll get back to you. Got any suggestions for other videos, let me know. As always, ride smart.